my fellow Zekers and welcome back to one more of our videos that are going to boost your eBay dropshipping business. I hope you're as excited about this as I am because the topic we will discuss today is definitely not a common one, but it is very, very important. Having a product go out of stock with your supplier can happen to any eBay seller, so it's crucial to know how to address it correctly. So you might be asking yourself, why is it so important to know how to address this situation correctly? Well, if you need to cancel an order for a buyer because the item is out of stock with your dropshipping supplier and the reason for the cancellation is the item is out of stock, eBay will add a defect to your seller account eBay, as a marketplace platform, wants to avoid sellers canceling orders from buyers. And these defects can affect your seller status, potentially lowering it to below standard, which is something we want to avoid. In this video, we'll talk through what you need to do when you find yourself in a situation where the item is out of stock, but you've sold it on eBay. Our focus is to act in a way that will maintain your eBay seller account in good standing. And additionally, we will cover how to ensure your eBay buyer remains happy at the end of the process. So let's get started. Understanding the eBay policy. First, let's start by looking what eBay's policy for canceling an order for the buyer is and the link to this will be available in the description of this video. So order cancellation policy. We understand that there may be times when orders need to be canceled. Buyers can request a cancellation, but generally only sellers can cancel an order. We encourage sellers to accept a buyer's cancellation request as long as they haven't yet shipped the item. Now, according to eBay's rules as uh, you as a seller can cancel an order when the buyer asks to cancel the order. The buyer hasn't paid within the time allowed. The buyer used the wrong shipping address when they completed their purchase. And lastly, the most common reason is the item is out of stock. Choosing this option to cancel an order for a buyer will result in a transaction defect on your seller account. So now we understand the options available for a seller to cancel an eBay order and one option that can lead to a transaction defect on the seller account. Now you might ask yourself, why not choose the other options like the buyer asked to cancel the order or the buyer used the wrong shipping address to cancel orders when they are clearly out of stock with your supplier? Well, the answer is quite simple. If a buyer notices that you canceled the order for him or her for reasons they never com communicated, such as an issue with their address or because they asked to cancel the order, they can actually contact the eBay customer service. And in most cases, eBay will step in and add a defect to the seller's account. And sometimes it can escalate to various suspensions. So that's why it's not beneficial to cancel orders for the wrong reasons. Now, before we discuss the solutions available when an item is out of stock with our supplier, let's cover some additional pointers about order cancellations for you to consider and add to your knowledge base. Sellers won't be able to cancel an order if the buyer has reported that the item hasn't arrived or has opened a return request. When a buyer purchases more than one item, the entire order will be canceled. Note that sellers can't cancel individual items if multiple items are purchased as part of the same order. If the buyer has paid for the order and requested a cancellation and the seller doesn't respond within three calendar days, eBay will close the request and the order will not be canceled. A buyer can still leave feedback on a canceled transaction unless the order was canceled because they didn't pay for the item. So if you're finding this video useful so far, don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe to our channel. That way you'll get notified for all of the videos that we post to help you boost your eBay business. The outcome of order cancellations, as we mentioned before, canceling orders for the wrong reasons can lead to defect on your eBay seller account. And if you cancel too many orders, your eBay seller account could fall 
to below standard seller level. Every month on the 20th, eBay reviews your recent sales and assesses how many of those resulted in poor experiences for buyers. eBay evaluates the following to determine your seller status level. Cases closed without seller resolution. For example, if a buyer requests a return to return a product that the seller does not provide a return label on time or fails to approve the return within the time frame eBay allows, this can lead to an account defect. The second thing eBay takes into consideration is the transaction defect rate. This is relevant to this video and can result when a eBay seller cancels orders because the item is out of stock. To maintain the above standard seller status, sellers need to keep their transaction defect rate below 2%. And if you want to learn more about seller levels on eBay and master how to keep your eBay seller account at least at above standard status, check out this YouTube video. Now that we have a full understanding of order cancellations on eBay and their causes, here are two amazing solutions to avoid canceling orders. One, use a product monitor like AutoDS. A product monitor is an essential tool for any eBay dropshipping business. It tracks product details on the supplier site, such as Walmart, Amazon, and many others, and automatically updates your eBay store if the supplier raises or lowers the product price. Additionally, if the product goes out of stock, the monitor will mark it as out of stock on your eBay store. This is crucial for building a successful eBay store with many items and keeping your account healthy and safe. Working with a product monitor not only protects you from price changes and stock issues, but also allows you to add as many items as you wish to your eBay dropshipping business. This can lead to a higher buyer reach and potentially increase your daily sales, all while ensuring that each product in your store is tracked and adjusted correctly in real time. Use alternative suppliers to order an out of stock item. So this solution is quite straightforward. The beauty of online suppliers is that in most cases, the same item can be sold by more than one supplier. To illustrate this, let's say I sold this two step ladder on eBay. And when I tried to fulfill the order from Amazon, the price increased significantly or the item is out of stock. Instead of canceling the order on eBay, I can look for the product title on Google and find other suppliers selling the exact item or search for the item by image. So let's copy the product title from Amazon and then paste it into Google to see if we have any results. Okay, so I can see that this product is available at the Home Depot. So let's now check if it's the same product that is on Amazon. Okay, so this is the exact item that sold on Amazon and is also available at the Home Depot with free shipping and a better price than on Amazon. In another scenario, you might not always find the exact product at a better price. Sometimes it's advisable to fulfill the order from another supplier even if you end up losing money or have no profit from the sale. The mindset in this case should be that it's okay to have no profit or even lose some money on the order to avoid canceling orders for your eBay buyers. This approach helps maintain your seller reputation and keeps your account healthy and in good shape. So what do you think about these two solutions? Are you planning to use them in your dropshipping business? Let us know by commenting down below and don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to our channel to get notifications for more videos like this one to help boost your eBay business. Now, if you do not find another supplier to fulfill your orders, the best approach is to contact the buyer and offer them a few options to resolve the issue. You can contact the buyer regarding the order and offer them two options 
in the message you are writing. Wait for new stock. They can choose to wait for the new stock to arrive in two to four weeks. Cancel the order. Alternatively, they can ask to cancel the order. The advantage of this method is that if the buyer prefers to cancel the order, you can do so under the reason the buyer asked to cancel the order and you will not get a defect on your seller account in this case. And if the buyer is willing to wait, you gain an additional two to four weeks to see if the item will come back into stock. If the item sells well with the supplier, it is likely to be restocked soon, allowing you to fulfill the order. This way you avoid defects on your account and keep your dropshipping business in good standing. To make this process easy for you, we've created a template to use when contacting buyers if you couldn't find an alternative supplier. You can find that template in the video description. As you saw this video, finding alternative suppliers, working with product monitors and communicating with your buyers to either cancel the order, pre their request or get an extension to see if the product will come back into stock are all important actions to take when the item is becoming out of stock. These strategies can help maintain your business reputation and keep your account in good standing. So, if you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell to stay updated on our latest videos. Also, feel free to share your experiences and tips in the comments below. We'd love to learn from you. Until next time, happy selling!